That was an interesting, but I wouldn't say not that great game between Mexico and South Korea. I thought South Korea sold themselves well for most of the time. Then they got a stupid penalty. Uh, again, this was not a handball where he intended to hit the ball with the hand. But if you go down like this, you're bound to hit it and you're, you're risking doing that. So I think um, a little bit smarter you have to go in such uh, tactics uh, and keep your hand down. Uh, penalty of course was converted, Mexico a little bit the upper hand. Um, second half I thought at the beginning while South Korea tried to uh, press, uh, Mexico was quite solid. Um, and then they ran a counter and Chicharito finished it beautifully. Uh, I really liked that move. We had a three on two, he got the ball uh, with let the defender slide away and then between the arm and the leg of the goalkeeper. Uh, was a really, really nice goal and from that moment on Mexico had control. They had the Mexican fans all on their back. Uh, the whole stadium seemed Mexican to me. Uh, there were only the Koreans that they were showing. I think those were all the Koreans that were in the stadium. I, uh, if you had a wider shot, I, did, I didn't see any Koreans. So yeah, Mexico played quite uh, to a home crowd. Uh, singing, chanting, uh, amazing. I really am impressed by the South American and um, I should say Latin American fans at this World Cup. They make they keep this World Cup to all their life. To me, um, Russian fans you only see at the Russian at the Russia games and here and there. But uh, if they're South Americans there or also Balkan fans uh, and Polish, I think Eastern Europeans in other words, there is some movement there. Uh, wasn't it the Iceland? The Iceland, yes, they had also a pretty strong support. But that, of course, Nigeria, that's the one game uh, where uh, it's as an opponent, you easily get tickets because there won't be as many Nigerians in the stands. Although you like the Nigerians dancing, they have just a little bit more sense of life. Back to the game. Um, I think at 2 nothing the game seemed done and dusted, but there was a mistake between Ochoa and... Uh, Marquez, where it should have been a goal, and then yeah, South Korea scored another. A pretty nice goal, I have to say. Uh, from the edge of the box, Ochoa saw it late, and it curled really nicely into the corner. So um, that was a nice goal by South Korea. And yeah, and then I think Mexico decided, let's not give the ball too close uh, to the box and uh, kill off the last two and a half minutes, and so they did. So I think Mexico deservedly won and they're in a really good shape now of advancing. And yeah, they would be qualified today if Sweden wins and Sweden would also be qualified. Any other results keeps everyone else still in the loop of qualifying. So um, could be an interesting group. Again, a draw very often makes things a little bit more interesting. There are no draws yet, so that's why it's possible that we get too qualified and too eliminated uh, by the end of this evening. Um, I honestly don't think so, because never bet against Germany, even if they've lost the game. But uh, it's a possibility, and I think that Sweden is probably the opponent that Germany wants to see least at this stage of the tournament, because they are defensively sound. They frustrated Italy, yes, not as um, talented as a German squad, but they frustrated them to qualify. Uh, they frustrated the France team that they beat, luckily, but they beat, and of course a Dutch team and so on. So Sweden, that's a tough matchup, and it is well possible that Sweden wins, although I would not bet on it. I think I would say Germany gets at least a point, if not more, European matchup. Now, speaking of matchups, kit matchup. I don't know. Uh, I like the Mexican shirts. I don't like the combination red and black for Korea that much. I think all red or uh, if they had some blue in there, it would make a lot, whole lot more sense, in my opinion. Uh, the match of itself was not that bad, but I don't get it. They were both playing with dark pants and this dark red. 
with the black. I really, I don't know if you're so worried about contrast. That's a horrible matchup. Mexico in all white would make more sense. And actually, if they wore the shirts of their home uh, home kit, the white ones, uh, it would fit very nicely with the away jersey. So I did not get why we get uh, the red pants. Um, I also think that the jersey would look better with green pants. Uh, the jersey is really, really nice. I think the red pants need to get some getting used to, especially the shade. It's a little bit, again, too dark. I think Mexico uses a little bit too dark shades. But if they keep that design for the home jersey, I know they won't. But that would be my favorite Mexico away jersey. Yes, besides the one with the Inca calendar that they wore in 98. But they also had it on the home jersey. I mean, that's the all-time best Mexico jersey. Well, let me know what you thought about the game, jersey matchup, what you expect from Germany versus Sweden. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.